Healthy Conservation Commission meeting for May 9th, Tuesday, 2023. First on the agenda is a request for determination of applicability, 8 French Street. Alexander Bilodeau seeks to remove an old garage barn and construct a two-car garage in its existing footprint. The project is located in the riverfront area. Site visit conducted on 418 by Gala, um, Gary, myself, and Mark Stinson. So, one present. Uh, I'm looking at tear down what used to uh, hold yeah, some cows. I guess uh, I have no idea of the construction of the uh, full barn of some kind. Okay. So I'm looking to demo that and build a two car garage. I in, in, in the exact footprint. Same footprint. Exactly. Yeah. Um, you got to dig it down at all or just. No, I'd like to do a cross wall uh, yeah. to prevent the continued erosion on, on that bank. Don't have one now. Uh, there's no drainage. Just a slab uh, setup. There's just a thin slab somebody poured. Yeah, it, it's it's existing riverfront area degraded when it's located. And it's going to be using the exact same. But what's there is falling down. Yep. So just replacing when he has it with something newer. Yep. Um, it is right on the edge of the bank, but there's already existing yep. chain link fence along the top of the bank. You can easily put a siltation mm. barrier, so hay bales or silk silk sock. Yes. Yeah. Along the top of the bank, right at the base of the chain link fence. I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward. I think mean, he's showing a silk fence there already. Maybe else, yeah. You hate it else. Yeah. Who's going to do the work? Uh, I'd like to do the, the digging <coughs> and have somebody. You're going to do it yourself? <laughs> Clean up is easy. Oh, boy. Hey, mom, are you ready? I'll be there. Yeah, <laughs> okay. How many columns are you going to put in there? <laughs> how, how much bigger can I build it? Not any. You going up higher or no? Uh, the, the roof elevation would be a couple of feet higher. I haven't determined what the building is. Until I want to get through this process first. Yeah. But, uh, same footprint. Um, I, I don't know if it'll have a picture for me. Not sure what we're going to put up. Yeah. We'll see what we got to work with. You know, it's a big deal if you're not changing the footprint. Right. Again. What did Mark have to say about it, Gary? He was in agreement with us, sir. The original was going to follow a full blown notion, but that would have triggered potentially mitigation mm -hmm. in the area. But since it's already existing footprint, right, right there, yeah. it, it's not, not going to blow this into a big project. Yeah. Yeah. So he's good with it, right? What? He's good with it? He's good with what he got the mayor. Right. Yeah. I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. Nope. So I'm gonna say this is gonna be a negative two, but first we have to close the hearing. We uh, we have a motion to close the request for determination. I'll give it. Who's gave that please? I will. Board. I'll Board second. second it. Any further discussion by board members? Mm -hmm. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous? No. All five. Okay. So I have next to go to one. Looks like it's gonna be a negative determination. Let me just read the difference between two and three. Negative two, the work described in the request is within an area subject to jurisdiction under the act, but will not remove, build, dredge, or alter that area. Therefore, said work does not require the following on those intent. A negative three is the work described is, is in the request is within the buffer zone that signs. Remember what a negative two. On this one. So a motion for a negative two determination. Among the, uh, the standard package of uh, yeah. uh, remember, you're in Hadley, you're going to be in a pitch bowl. So everybody is going to be lo looking <clears throat> and seeing what you're doing. All so, day, every day. Yes. Yeah. And just letting you know. 
Okay. This is going to be three again. Okay. We appreciate you coming out and talking to us first. Thank you for having me. Well, I appreciate it. That was quite a speech you gave. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You're just going to want to add something with Kayla. We can the uh, work is going to go according to the plan showing siltation bears. Mm -hmm. We're going to remove the existing old structure and take it off site on the demo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I'm looking for a motion for a negative two determination. So moved. Moved by second. Second. Uh, any further discussion? Mm -hmm. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Okay. We vote on Thursday. We vote on Thursday. The down motion. They changed the thing down. Okay. Town elections. Do we vote on Thursday? Two days from now, oh. we're down election. Oh, you're Other business: the UMass enforcement order in 2022. The UMass installed a new electrical transmission line as part of their North Village Apartments project. Yeah. Work on the transmission line began without the approval from the town of Hadley or the town of Amherst. In September 2022, the town of Amherst issued an enforcement order for alteration of wetlands without a permit. A culvert was replaced without authorization. The town recommended UMass delineate wetlands in Hadley, install road control, and file an after the fact notice of intent with the Conservation Commission. UMass, SWCA, and Wright Pierce are finalizing plans, restoration, and permitting associated with this later this month. Just an update. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm going to be um, visiting the site tomorrow at 11 a.m. just as a preliminary visit if anybody wants to join and just um, check it out. I also have some a potential plan for the restoration um, from SWCA. This was sent, I think, also to the Amherst Conservation Commission, um, and they discussed it at their one of their last meetings, um, just for reference. So uh, just an update. We're going to look out for that NOI later this month. So was it work kind of the split between Amherst and Hadley, the project so, line right here? Most of the work is actually in Amherst. There's yeah, just this boy. this part is in Hadley. That's so the line right there? Yeah, this is the okay. town line. So it'd be right. just interesting to see what Amherst had for comments. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. If, well, <laughs> look, that would apply to our site. It looks like the majority of the work is over here. But right. right. This, this, this is a... Well, a major concern was the Sorry. angle of the, like, this flow, this kind of 90 degree angle was a topic of discussion at the Amherst meeting and how they're going to like prevent further erosion, yeah. rip wrap, or whatever they're going yeah. to do. That's probably the biggest. Which way is the water flowing? It's this way. Other, other way. Well, it's also going this way. Yeah. So Either that's way, but there's a bend. Right. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Audience tonight? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like somebody's on. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. What is the actual area? Next up is UMass Wastewater Treatment Facility. This is an update. UMass is planning on upgrading their wastewater treatment plant and testing, testing laboratory facilities, a portion of which falls within the riverfront area RFA to the Mill River in Hadley. A site visit was conducted in 2018 by Kayla Mark Stinson under order of conditions 170 266, issued for ongoing operation and maintenance of UMass facilities. He would determine that this project falls under category three of the order of conditions, which requires filing a filing of a new notice of intent. So they're gonna another another project to look out for. So yeah, that is I have some plans for that here. But yeah, they're gonna file a notice of intent again probably at the end of this month. We'll wait till we get the whole package. Yeah. Just yeah. wanted to keep you updated. Shiatic Road Solar. Array. Follow up on a determination for applicability of special conditions issues for solar array behind 92 Shattuck Road. So, yeah. Was, was that Joe Sikowski's? Yeah. We went out there like two years ago mm -hmm. and visited it like three years ago. And he hasn't done anything yet? So, yeah. So, I got an email from one of, 
Hyperion solutions about inspection for the straw wattle that was to be in place before the start of the project. Um, and it seems like they're really, they're starting to work on it. They installed okay. the straw wattle on the east side. Um, they planted the cover crop and they got everything approved by National Heritage. So I, I updated the project. It was yeah. just, you know, an inspection. Yeah. Make sure that they had followed all the special conditions. Sounds fine. Yeah. Yes. Now that one there, that one is a prime example of what Steve was talking about a few months back about having a wildlife study. I mean, this is right in my backyard so I'm watching the whole thing. Yeah. And there were deer out there three weeks ago. There isn't a deer to be found now anywhere. Mm -hmm. There's they're they're down there, they're they're putting piles in all over the place out there. It looks it's it to me, it, it, I mean I, listen, I'm used to been there for 30 years, so it's mm -hmm. a little different. Yeah. And uh well it's is that I, APR land? I don't know how it I don't know. I, I don't know how I I mean it's all farmland, it's all wide open. Right. And I don't understand how like the people along Cummins Road who are looking at this now didn't get notified. I know he's I know he they had to uh, notify the but, uh, butters and everything, but we never knew about it. It was approved before we even found out about it. Really? Yeah. Mm. So now we're look, we're gonna be looking at this junk in the backyards. Mm. Okay, so, well that's uh, good. so we but, but that I mean, condition. but to my point. About about or Steve's point about the the wildlife, I, I really think that that's a perfect example right there. Maybe something down the road we should be thinking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just my two cents. You can't yeah. do that without both any butters. I'm not on a butter. There's a, there's a there's a, there's fields between oh. us. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, it's might as well be right there. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. You can't put solar on APR land. Yeah, I know. Well, it, yeah, they don't know. Just I don't know if it's APR. Yeah. They don't know what they were doing. They would never be able to do it. Yeah, they were trying to do it, but he doesn't know. And it's supposed to be up in the air. The panels. No. And he's supposed to have uh, something. The sheep or whoever he's going to keep there. I heard. I heard there was a, well. A I, chicken. I mean, listen. I just heard through the grapevine. I heard, is there a frog out there or something like that? That's. I don't know. That could be. I don't know. Holding up some kind of construction, some kind of portion of this. I don't know. That could be or anything. About what? Like, I don't know. Some a toad. Some, I a toad or a frog or something like. Spade, you spade, know, this is a footed toad. Yeah, spade footed toad or uh, what the hell's the other guy? Yeah, I don't know. Stop him. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know, but you know, uh, I think he trail. was gonna two or three years ago when we first went out there. He was uh, thinking of putting chickens out there. Now, I don't know if that had changed. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Receivable, you know, interim. Well, all right. I don't know. Next is tree removal near Hampshire College Woods. A concerned citizen reported potentially unpermitted tree mm -hmm. removal near the Hampshire College Woods. Yeah, so I was in contact with the DCR and some uh, residents who reported it, and the property owner is um, complying with a request for filing an after-the-fact RDA, but I'm wondering um, how, like, if you've had a situation like this in the past and if there might be agricultural exemptions, um, which is something that the DCR was mentioning about maybe potential agricultural. It's not an APR, but... Um, yeah, I don't really know how to approach the issue. I mean, how many if trees, the were, trees were, were I have some images if you'd like what, me to show the, you. What was the purpose of removing the trees? What was this? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> was he getting firewood? I don't know, actually. I don't know. Down in, in the it was, I went out to the site. Um, Today, the big thing is about reforest. Was forest and parcel. Yeah, because, yeah. Of, yeah. because of climate change. So yeah. this is it's an image from the site. Okay. And the problem is it's too close to wetlands or is it? Yeah, I have a map. There's, I think, oh, I should have marked exactly where it is. It's around here and uh, there's wetlands right there. Oh. Okay. And also on the property. Quite a few trees you cut down. Yeah. Yeah. And trees right here. Oh, Hmm. Hmm. Well, what are we going to do? 
Was this the landowner or somebody doing it for him? Or? Um, I think the landowner had hired a company to actually do the removal, but I've been in contact with the property owner. And in his comments, does he have anything to share? He said that he would file an RDA if he needed to. Um, I just wanted to like get your all yeah, your we, input. We need to know what he's, you know, what's the closest wetlands? Um, um, this gray here? Yeah. So it's really close to the wetland area. Yeah, it is. A lot of times the trees are a filter for the wetlands, mm -hmm. like the quadrants in there. We need, one thing is we selected thinning, encourage undergrowth with the trees, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bills, purchasing policies, MATC virtual conferences, and MSMCP membership. Okay, so I just wanted to go over the kind of budgeting and you know purchasing processes mm -hmm. that you follow. I know if like I've been going through old invoices, some of them are signed by Gary, some of them aren't. So I'm wondering um it do you have a standard budget approval process that you'd like to follow? Um do you want to sign off on invoices for like office supplies um or on a monthly Gary? basis, not every day, not if you I mean, only if it, I would mm -hmm. if it's like you know, a large amount. If it's just, mm -hmm. Small dollar amounts. I don't think we need right to like use. folders, books. I don't personally have a. We never really signed off on that before. I don't know. Not really? Have no. you? No, no, really not. no. Did uh, what's your name? Sign off on them. Um, never came into the meeting, brother. Hmm. Yeah, we got to prove it. Who's that? Shiler? You, no. No. Paula. Oh, Paula. Oh, Paul. No. Yeah. It was uh. And the other staff person that was uh, yes. Janet, yeah, the, now she submitted a labor bill that two or three times a year. That's it. But right now, you taking care of that with the town or something with the HR and Carolyn. Yeah. So, we're, we're yeah. 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 Um, oh, yeah, and then there's some fundamentals classes with the Massachusetts Association of Conservation Commissions that I was hoping to participate in um just like education and that would come out of the tuition budget which also you all have access to if you have if there's any conferences webinars classes that right. you want to attend mm -hmm. um just let me know and I can sign you up and okay file the invoices you. um so there's three that I'm hoping to register for in the next month or two um and it's $55 each so it would be $165 total Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. And then I think we I think we all agree with that. Yeah. That expense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it. there's also motion. We just okay. Agree. Just okay. There's yeah. the MSMCP, um, which I think that had they had a membership with for a while, and then it kind of we didn't pay the dues last year. So I'm hoping to pay. Dues are twenty dollars a year, so I'm hoping to pay the dues through um this June. Um, and then we can all participate in like webinars, conferences. Twenty dollars for the whole board for the year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> That's fine. We all agree. We're not okay. Gonna, we're not going to make formal voting. Yeah. Census. Yeah. 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 That's I think it for bills. Updates. Purpose for communication. Yeah, I wanted to go over um, your preferred mode of communication. Do you like receiving emails, phone calls, email? Emails? Emails, yeah. Okay. Emails, fine. Okay. And is there um, like a frequency of updates that works for you? I don't know if it's helpful for me to every week email you with things that are going on or just before the meetings, email you what we're going to talk about at the meetings. Sorry. Um, uh, it, the way that I see it is if you got a real hot item, mm -hmm. then it's got to be a weekly thing. If it's not, then just do what you've been doing. I think I got an email like last Friday or something. And uh, okay. I think you've come up to speed pretty well here. Yeah. Thanks. You enjoying it so far? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Getting settled. Um, appreciate having you. Yeah. Glad to yeah. be here. And then also, I'll let you know about site visits when I when I start planning them. Yeah. yeah I talked you. to Scott McCarthy today. He did all of you, but I just wanted to do something for the yeah. 16th to the 23rd. 16. I'll talk to you about that. He wanted to schedule. I think we he asked the engineer for 9 a.m. on. 16. Okay. Yeah. So let me know when, where, mm -hmm. and I don't know if any of the board members want to come. It's gonna, I think it's going to be more of an informal 
presentation yeah. for what you're proposing to do with Algonquin. Right. We had the violation. Right. And I think some future projects. Something at um, up the corner of Breckenridge and Huntington. I think there's a DPW project maybe going on there. Okay. Um, I don't know the exact details. So there are there any other board members that are going to be available on the 16th at 9 a.m.? That That's a week from today. Yeah. 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 Uh, just express your interest. Yeah, let me know because I think and we can't have more than two or three people. It's so probably it's quorum. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So, when you, there's no reason for you to go. I know. You're going to be really sure for a time. Gone. Gone. Yeah. Uh, you would need to be seen. I would, right? Probably. probably. If you could just call my shop and tell me about that day, that morning. Sure. It helps all the time. Okay. For me. Um, and can you give me the phone number later for your shop? I don't think I'm. I wouldn't. You just tell you're going to be difficult. You're, you're working, right? Yeah, I'm home on Tuesday, so I, I, I could sneak out. And, okay, well, that probably would be good know, to have you. Either, you know, I don't want, want there to be a problem. No, though. no, you've got a lot of civil engineering background. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. It would be good to have you. Okay. okay. Yep. Okay, so just to clarify, who wants to come on, on Tuesday? It's going to be us two for sure, and whether okay. Steve wants to go or not, it's just. And then I think, yeah, I think we need to. I think three would be a like quorum. Three would be a quorum. Yeah. So you got to be careful. You got to spit over on your lot All right, I across the street. <laughs> you can't have three people from the conservation, though. You can only have two. Well, that's the meeting open meeting yeah. Um, Pretty smart. No, it isn't. But that's okay. Yeah. 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 I don't, well, get, a, I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, they, they might want to get in trouble and want to look at something that they got to vote on. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. wouldn't be right. So like, it's like Port Warrior Point. Yeah. Um, okay. And then I have some website updates. I'm hoping to add things to the website that are more useful for residents who are trying to apply for permits. I find the information is a little confusing when you yes. visit the website. Um, so I'm just right now figuring out what is the most helpful way to organize it. So if you have any resources or you um, can think of any helpful links that could be there uh, to make it easier for residents to understand wetlands permitting procedures, let me know. Is, um, is there anything the DEP could help you provide for you for the, to do that? Because yeah, they have a lot of stuff. A lot of times we, we just wind up referring them to that site anyways. Right, yeah. But anything that we can do to be of assistance of help to the townspeople. Mm -hmm. I know in the past that was a, it was a concern with the prior administration yeah. and until the board was helped. Yeah. I, but yeah. I know Jan at the time tried very hard to help people out. So it's just mm -hmm. I don't always agree with that. Yeah. Upcoming learning opportunities. We talk yeah, about the webinar. Some um, MACC webinars uh that I'll be attending if you have any interest. And then the Massachusetts Land Trust Coalition has a fundamentals of land protection course that's I think happening Starting in June, it's five parts and it happens Thursdays from 4 to 5 30 p.m. I think it costs $20 for the whole series. So let me know if you're interested and I can pay the fees. Okay, it is a lot of a lot of these stuff that is a bunch of old parts that are <laughs> what is old that? Days, old. Yeah, I can get you the exact dates. Um I could send in an email. Yeah, I people. I will yeah. Sure. Okay. yeah. We need to grow a new chair first. So I think where she's going. Yeah. Go oh, where? <laughs> Start the <laughs> grooming stand. We're grooming you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> For what? <laughs> I'm older than you. I know this line. <laughs> okay. Uh, next up is the April 11th minutes. Uh, I received my copy. Yep. I move we accept the minutes as presented. Uh, I. It would make a motion. Second. Seconded by Steve. Is that Steve? Gordon. 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 Yeah. Any further discussion? Yes, <laughs> all those in favor? Aye. 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 All five board members. Aye. And last up, we will entertain unless there's any further discussion of business that the board wants to bring up. Mm -hmm. Motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion. Gordon. Second. Second. By Ray. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.